If you're promoting an event, whether in person or virtual, it's always helpful to throw in a nifty add to calendar link in your emails. Well, good thing Braze has a documentation page titled add to calendar links, but depending on your use case, you may need some liquid support. Watch this video to learn how to convert spaces into percent 20 dynamically. What's up everyone. My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fornell Marketing and welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or are considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. Today, we're gonna talk through how to create add to calendar links in Braze. Let's get started. So first, let's look through the Braze documentation and read through the page briefly so that we're all on the same page. So Braze provides a link for Google Calendar specifically and another one for iCal and Outlook. So we'll probably have to make two separate links. The two links are very similar, except Google Calendar just has an extra parameter at the end. The iCal Calendar link looks exactly the same. And I was curious what ics.agical.io or agical.io was. So I did a quick research. And it looks like it's a script written by a very generous Marketo developer who goes by the name Sanford Whiteman. So if you'd like to read more, check out this blog post in the description. Anyway, back to the Braze docs. It looks like we have five key parameters to include, which are event subject, event location, start time, end time, and event description. And lastly, Braze says, replace any spaces with the HTML escape code percent %20. For example, a subject of meet space braze would be meet percent 20 braze. And just to test this out, I actually tried creating the links without replacing these spaces with that HTML escape code, and it still worked perfectly fine. But to get some extra liquid practice and to follow the rules and be safe, we will do this anyway. So here's our scenario slash use case we're working with today. We're launching a trip confirmation email campaign. And we want to include this add to calendar link inside this email. Everyone's trip timeline is different. So this add to calendar link will need to include custom event properties or API triggered properties to add the dynamic parameters to the add to calendar link. So let's first start with the classic HTML editor. I'm going to choose just a basic template from the Braze options. And I'm going to just simply uh, duplicate that login button. So we have two of those to work with. Um, and I checked earlier and this TR portion is good to copy and paste. So I'm going to do that real quick. Awesome. And then the first one will be called add to Google calendar. And the second one is going to be add to iCal slash outlook. And please don't mind the uh, UI of the buttons getting a little bit longer there. All right, so I like to do all my liquid work here at the very top of the HTML so it's easy to find. So let's scroll up to the top and add some liquid here. First, let's assume that in our custom event properties or API trigger properties, all five of the parameters exist with the exact same name, event subject, event location, start time, end time, and event description. By the way, if this campaign is action-based, then we will use the event properties liquid tag. If this campaign is API triggered, then you use this API triggered properties liquid tag. Let's use event properties for the HTML example. And for now, I'm going to simply write out the five liquid variable names that we'll need inside our add to calendar links. The first one was called event subject. I'm going to go ahead and insert personalization. So that's the liquid variable that where we can grab the custom event property metadata called event subject. And I'm gonna copy and paste this five times and replace the names um, accordingly. So the second one is event location. Third one is start time, fourth end time. Uh, and the last one is event description. And of course, please work with your engineering team to make sure that you are writing down the exact uh, custom event property names that the engineering team is passing along. But for our scenario, we will just assume that the names are identical as the parameter names that Braze provided on this page. Most likely, your data is not going to be called the exact same names as these five variables here. Remember how Braze said we got to replace all the spaces with the HTML escape code? Let's do that first. 
So there's two liquid filters that we can use to get this done. The first one is called URL encode, and the second one is called replace. Uh, the URL encode is a little bit simpler, so let's get started with that one. But URL encode converts any URL unsafe characters in a string into percent encoded characters. The only thing to note with this filter is that your URL encode will turn a space into a plus sign instead of a percent encoded character, uh, which isn't quite what the Braze doc said. But once again, I tested it and it worked fine. So back to our Braze email. Uh, first, I'm going to apply the URL encode filter on the property event subject. Um, and make sure to start from the right of the first right curly bracket, so where that purple highlight ends. And then let's add the pipeline character and then add the word URL underscore, underscore encode. And let's do the exact same thing for event location. So I'm going to copy and paste that. Space after the first right curly bracket where the purple ends. And then same thing for syntax. I'm going to delete that extra space just to be safe. And then since there aren't any spaces for the times, we will skip the time variables, uh, the skip the process of encoding them. Um, and I've also confirmed that the links work without encoding the time variables. But if anyone has any concerns or insights, please share them in the comments. If there is a good reason why I should also be URL encoding them, please let me know. I'd love to learn also. And for the very last variable, let's actually use the replace liquid filter just to do some uh, variety of practice. And this way we can actually and accurately follow Brace's direction of using the percent 20 for the blank space. So once again, I'm going to add the pipeline character after the first right uh, curly bracket, add the word replace followed by the colon. And this replace filter needs two parameters. Um, the first one is the first one is the word that we are going to look for to replace. The second one is, what are we replacing that first one with? So back to our braze variable, we're, we are going to look for all cases of the empty space. That's why I'm going to write quote, empty space, quote. Then we're going to replace it with quote, percent, 20, end quote. And once again, what we're doing here is we're going to take the value from the variable event property event description. Look for all instances of the blank space and then replace that with this string percent 20. Um, so replacing the first parameter with the second parameter. All right, so now that we're done setting up our variables, let's build our links and store them in a variable. Uh, so first let's go back to the documentation and copy and paste the Google Calendar link. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna just paste it into our email here for now, just as a placeholder. And now we're going to replace all these hard-coded event parameters with the liquid variables that we created. And that way we can actually build events with dynamic event subjects and other event information because currently every single event that gets created with this link will be called event underscore subject. So I'm going to take every variable, I'm going to cut them, and I'm going to, I'm going to pretty much replace these hard-coded capitalized uh, values with that variable that I just cut from the line one. And as you do this, be sure not to replace anything else besides the capitalized words. I just like to double click and it highlights properly. Let's do that for all five values. So this is start time, almost there, uh, end time. And then the last one is going to be replace event description. And finally, this is the link that we will be using inside our CTA buttons here. And this is our last step of the HTML builder setup. Now that we have this full link finalized, let's go ahead and cut this link. So command X, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, erase all the empty spaces. Now let's scroll back down to where our buttons are. Um, so this is the add to Google Calendar. So we'll scroll down to where our add to Google Calendar link is. And we are going to replace this placeholder anchor tag href hashtag with the link that we created earlier. I've just pasted the entire thing in there. Um, and then one thing to note is that because we're using double quotes inside our link, let's actually make this a single quote. Um, so single quote all the way from the beginning of the link 
to the end of the link. And that should work fine. We're using single quotes to surround the link because we're already using double quotes inside our link them itself. And the exact same thing, I'm gonna actually copy the single quotes here and then paste it into this placeholder. Whoops. I'm gonna get rid of the double quotes and copy and paste the single quotes, um, except I'm gonna erase the GCAL version. So erase all the way up to that ampersand format GCAL. Testing out our links, let's go to the preview page. We'll go to custom user and let's fill in some test information for our link. Um, and we actually have an event coming up. So our first Brace Technical Marketer Office Hours are coming up next Tuesday. It will be on a Zoom call. The start time is 2024, February uh, 20th. And the time will be at 11.30, zero seconds AM at the West Coast, Los Angeles, negative eight hours from UTC. Make sure our time is following the ISO 8601 format. I'm gonna copy and paste that and it ends at 12.30. Event description will be, come join us for a technical discussion of Brace. And even though nothing looks like it changed on the email, behind the scenes, the links behind the buttons actually changed. If you hover over and look at the bottom left corner, you can actually get a glimpse of the links that will be uh, populating behind these buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and right click, open link in a new tab and check out which link gets opened. And let's check it out. Brace Technical Market Office Hour starting on February 20th, 1130 uh, Pacific time. It's a Zoom call and here's my event description. It worked successfully. Of course, to test the other link, if I go ahead and try opening this in a new tab, and now I'm not too familiar with Apple Calendar, but I just got a download link. And if I click on this, you may not be able to see this because uh, I'm, I'm sharing just my window, but my calendar app just opened up and I got the exact same event details on my Apple Calendar event also. Lastly, let's try doing the exact same email setup on the drag and drop editor. So I'm actually going to I'll go ahead and copy my link. So I have this exact same one. We're gonna be using the exact same link. So go ahead and copy this one. And I'm gonna change over my template to a drag and drop template. I ended up choosing this template. Uh, let's quickly make some changes to our email. So we have multiple buttons to work with, add to Google Calendar. And this one is add to iCal slash Outlook Calendar. And just like before, all I have to do is click on the button and change the URL to the URL that we created in the uh, HTML editor before. Same thing with this one, except I'm gonna erase the and format GCAL. Go to the preview page. And same thing, we might have to add some uh, test values. I'll keep it short this time. Event subject, event location. Start time will be the same. 20 at 11.30 and 08. And then we'll make this 12.30. Event description. I'll also just write event description. And then now that our links are built behind the scenes once again, Let's open link in a new tab and see what happens. And it is the exact same outcome. Of course, our values are a little different, but you see the placeholders and then the exact same time populate also. So voila, our add to calendar links work perfectly on both the HTML and the drag and drop editor. That's it for today. As always, if you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.